I'm a very lucky guy to be able to be the pastor of Blessed Sacrament Parish and St. Mary's in Walpole and uh, to have um, an association with a great Catholic school like Blessed Sacrament, third graders here today. And for all of us, Jesus has a number of very wise and very rich statements in that small part of Mark's gospel I just read. No surprise, because he has eternal wisdom. Jesus is God. And he spoke these words, as we often hear in the gospels, he spoke these words to his disciples. So that means, therefore, they must be for us, right? Because we are Jesus' disciples. He teaches us, first of all, don't hide your light under a basket or stick it under your bed. Put it somewhere so that it can shine for everyone to see. Also, he said, there's nothing we can hide or keep secret from God. Now, you could look at that as a bad thing, but you could also look at it as a good thing. God knows your potential. God knows my potential. He knows what we can do with our lives. And then Jesus says, the way you measure things is important because the way you measure will be measured back to you and more besides. And finally, when someone is given much, even more will be theirs. But you've got to recognize how blessed, how fortunate you are, how much you have been given. If you have ears, listen well. Now, all of these sayings make me think of the great blessing of Catholic education. For example, in Walpole, we're very fortunate, as I mentioned, to have a great Catholic school, Blessed Sacrament. And you guys are here representing some 340 kids from that great school. A lot of good goes on under that roof every day at your school, every single day, and at Catholic schools all around this country. You've been given a lot. You've been given many blessings in your parents, in your family, in a fine education in a specifically Catholic education, at a parochial school, which means it's part of a parish community. You belong, you guys belong to a family of families, a school community who keeps Jesus at the very center of everything. And you're exposed to Catholic faith and tradition, that which comes to us from Jesus' original disciples. It's been passed down for a couple thousand years. And all of this forms a foundation for life, your life in a very complex world. Take it from me, it's very complex. And that education happens on the campus of a real parish, of a real Christian community. By the way, the parish where your school is located uh, takes its name very seriously. It's just yards. Your school is just yards from a chapel where Jesus, present in the Blessed Sacrament, is adored 24 hours a day, seven days a week. That means you or your parents when they pick you up or drop you off or whatever, that at any time of day, you as a class can go over there to that chapel and just be with Jesus and speak to him, your heart speaking to his heart. It is for that very reason, that closeness, that access to Jesus, that we celebrate Catholic education this week. So don't hide your light. Don't hide your gifts under a basket. Remember that God knows every little thing about you. So make Jesus the reason for every, your, every plan and action of your life. Keep your ears and your eyes open for ways that you can be his disciple, especially when you encounter people who are struggling, who are poor in some way. And allow this blessed sacrament offered to you from this altar today to be the food that keeps you going because it is truly Jesus. And happy Catholic Schools Week.